Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. I am. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could get a clock and a calendar into a little IC? Well, guess what? You can. Today, we'll be taking a look at Microchip's real-time clock calendar IC, the MCP-79402, to be exact. So, what exactly is a real-time clock calendar? Well, it's literally a clock and a calendar crammed into a small IC package for easy integration into your designs. The real-time clock calendar takes care of all the hard work, keeping track of the time, the day, month, and year, and can also keep track of alarm settings. Pretty cool, huh? The RTCC I'm using here is the MCP79402, which has the following features. 1.5 volt battery backup input with automatic switching when main power is lost. Power fail time stamp for battery switchover. On-chip digital trimming, 12 or 24 hour format, two alarms, it's available in MSOP, SOIC, TSSOP, and TDFN packages. Can operate from 1.8 volts to 5.5 volts and uses I2C to communicate with the outside world. With the exception of the MCP7940M, these real-time clock calendars do not come in a dip package, which means you're pretty much stuck using a surface mount version. Well, that's a problem when you are prototyping and need to get the RTCC plugged into a breadboard. The solution? A simple breakout board like this one. Once the IC and the header pins are soldered to the breakout board, plugging the RTCC into a breadboard is, well, a piece of cake. As for external components, we have the following. 32.768 kHz crystal, two 2.K pull-up resistors for the serial communication lines, one 10K pull-up resistor for the MFP data line, one 100 nanofarad bypass capacitor on VCC input, two MLCC capacitors. Now, the value is dependent on the crystal brand you are using, and in this case, I'm using two 12 picofarad MLCC caps. Now, I'm also using this RS-232 to USB interface. Well, that's because my new laptop doesn't have an RS-232 port, so I had to pick up this little beauty from Fry's for about $18. Thank you, Fry's. You really did save me on this. I've currently got a simple test program operating just to get the RTCC up and running to learn more about it. This program just turns on the RTCC, gets it running, and then reads data from the RTC on a continuous basis, and then sends that data to my computer via the RS-232 USB interface. Talking to the RTCC is greatly simplified by using I2C or SPI. And in this case, I'm using a I2C RTCC. And just like a microcontroller, the memory map is broken up into a series of registers. Now don't let the number of registers intimidate you. They are broken up into four main areas. The first group is the actual time and date the RTCC is keeping track of. We also have a few control bits here. These configure various settings like 12 and 24 hour format. There are two registers you have to know about. The first is bit seven and register zero. This bit starts and stops the RTCC counting. You'll want to turn off counting when you're changing the date and time and then back on once you finish. This prevents unwanted changes to the date or time while you're updating those values. The next register is the control register and bit 3. This bit determines if an external crystal is being used or an external 32.768 kHz signal is being used. If you're using a crystal then set this bit to 0 and if you're using an externally supplied signal then set this bit to 1. Registers A through 10 are for alarm 1. Registers 11 through 16 are for alarm 2. Registers 18 through 1B hold the date and time when the power failed and the RTCC switched over to backup power. Registers 1C through 1F hold the date and time when power was restored. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with the RTC yet. I, I definitely want to start including it in, you know, projects that I'm working on. One of the things I think I want to do is to take this 
modular design that I have here and kind of bring everything together, all the components and everything onto one little board so that it's really easy for people to, to include these clocks into uh, projects of their own. I think that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and take care and be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.